You won't believe how this coyote got his stripes. I've got mammal expert Dr. Roland Kays here to help me figure it out. Showcasing North Carolina's candid critters. From the Museum of Natural Sciences, it's You Won't Believe with Roland Kays. Welcome to the show. We highlight the craziest pictures from North Carolina Candid Critters, a citizen science project where volunteers like you help run camera traps across the state. And today, I've got Dr. Roland Kays from the North Carolina Museum of Natural Sciences at NC State University to help me figure out what's going on in this crazy coyote picture. Well, this is a picture of a coyote from North Carolina, and it's brindled, which is a description for a dog coat color um, that looks like they almost have stripes. So it looks like this coyote has some dog genes, and that's why it looks so funny. How would a coyote get genes from a dog? Well, coyotes and dogs are pretty closely related, so you can get them to hybridize, and they can create a fertile offspring. So that's probably what happens sometime in the ancestors of this animal. Wait, so coyotes and dogs are out there just breeding together all the time? We don't see coyotes and dogs breeding today anymore. It seems like it's one of those things that happened when coyotes first moved into the state. There would have been one animal that, uh, a coyote, for example, that was the first one in the state, couldn't find any other coyotes to breed with, but there was a dog around, and so she kind of took the best that she could get, and that's what led to the first coyote-dog hybrids. <laughs> okay. Oh, so you brought a couple other pictures, I think, of coyotes as well. Let's look at those. Wow, look at that beauty. What's going on here? Oh, this is a great picture. This is just such a beautiful black coyote with the little white spot on the chest, just like you would see in a dog. But it's obviously a coyote. You can tell from the facial structure and the ears. Um, and the other thing I love about this picture is it was taken by cameras set by school kids, uh, who, and it's actually in a cemetery. So they were near the school, and they wanted to survey to see what mammals were living in the cemetery, and they got a black coyote. And, uh, and you can notice in the back there, I think there's another one, another coyote, there's other eyes. Yeah, if you look in the back corner, you can see there's definitely another coyote there. So uh, they seem to be running in, uh, in a pair of animals here. All right, well, let's check out the third picture you got. That looks like a German Shepherd. Yeah, this is a great animal. So there must have been some time in the history of this animal where one of its ancestors bred with a German Shepherd and then uh, got those genes that give this beautiful color. And then those crossed back into the coyote population. And, uh, and now it, it shows up every once in a while. I've seen this a couple times. Uh, it's relatively rare, but it does show up. And I also love how you can see uh, this anim animal's running with another coyote together. Do you get a lot of pictures of big groups of coyotes running around together? Well, these guys probably live in a pack that might have two, four, six, or eight animals. But what we find with coyotes is we almost always get pictures of one or two. So while they have this larger social unit, they're usually off running by themselves or sometime with, uh, sometimes with one buddy. Those are definitely some of the most colorful coyotes I have ever seen. Thanks so much for coming and bringing those awesome pictures, Roland. And thanks for joining us. Remember, if you're in the state, go to the North Carolina Candid Critters website to sign up, join the project, borrow one of our camera traps, and run it anywhere in the state to help us learn more about our mammals. We're Roland Kays. See wildlife. Do science.